<laughs> Alright guys, yeah, sorry if you hear Juan laughing in the background. We're dealing with one of our retard friends right now. Um, anyway, um, yeah, this is this is the end of the second Big Daddy fight. I, I should have chimed in on this a lot earlier. Um, so yeah, uh, using whatever you got. And if you see a Big Daddy, like far away, you can always lure him back in here. It's really easy. Um, so I always I always lure him. I never wait. I always just do it. Um, I don't like waiting for a Big Daddy to be at a certain time and place. If I if I can lure him back where I want them to to go, uh, I will. So I just wanted to mention that. Um, I think this is this might be the last Big Daddy. I don't I don't know if there's two or three in this level. I haven't played it in uh, in a while, so I haven't. I have no idea. If there is one more, it's probably going to be in the same room, but I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm gonna, oh, I always go to the Gatherer's Garden right after I rescue one just to pick up something. Because um, at this point, with all my researching, um, <clears throat> I get a lot of tonics, and I have a lot of tonics in. And uh, that one was Photographer's Eye, and it helps researching a crap load, a shit load, an amazing godly amount load. Um, it uh, And if you have it stacked with the original Photographer's Eye, which I believe you get from researching rosies i think it is you get um if you have them stacked you'll you'll get even more research points so like a c grade is actually like an a grade without the without the researching um so yeah i just want to mention that um we're gonna be heading into julie langford's office um because aaron just killed aaron <sighs> ryan just killed <laughs> shut up Juan. anyway i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm i'm a shitty commentator i understand that um uh, Andrew Ryan just killed the trees, so without oxygen, you will pretty much die, but Julie has a way to fix that. Um, so yeah, um, I will comment again when I have something to say.
All right, guys, um, I didn't really comment at all on the last one because there's really nothing to comment on. I told you you're going to up going to get the rose. You got the rose. Now you gave it to her, and now she's inviting you in her office. Um, she's making this thing called the Lazarus Vector, which she basically invented. It's how to bring dead trees back to life. Um, you'll see that security sh uh, shut down. Um, that means that she turned off the security for two minutes. I guess that is in 50 seconds. So all the security will be friendly to you. But you want to destroy and or hack them because you're going to be coming back here and doing a, a, uh, a protection, if you will. You're going to be defending the, uh, the Lazarus Vector once we actually do make it from, uh, from any splicers that Ryan has trying to destroy it. You want to hack um, this u event. You want to hack that um, Circus of Values. You want to hack the security once it's not friendly to you when you come back down the second time. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, this area is going to be kind of a nice little area to defend. And because you were rescuing, if you did rescue the little sisters, um, you got a tonic for hypnotizing Big Daddy. And there will be a Big Daddy walking through here um, when we come back. And uh, since you're defending yourself upon wave and wave and wave of splicers, the Big Daddy is a really good asset to have on you for uh, protection. Um, the only other thing I could think of really is on your way down, make sure you pick up that uh, explosive barrel you just saw in the corner. Because um, when you come back down, you're going to be killing a crap load of splicers in one shot. And um, hack the security, like I already said, and we will be off to the next section, the uh, farmer's market. Which is a nice little section. Um, really nothing there. I think there's like one big daddy to, to kill and rescue the sister. And um, it's just collecting things. That's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you guys later.